After you've got no contact with your narcissistic mother, then you need to focus on you. And I know that's easier said than done, but I will tell you the things that I did so that I could start focusing on me and healing myself. I could say that you could go see a therapist, a trauma therapist, somebody that understands maternal narcissism, like a mental health professional, but that wasn't the route that I took. The route that I took was I started to heal in a relationship. So having a narcissistic mother creates relational trauma. So you grow up with this idea as to how a relationship is supposed to be. You grow up trauma bonded to your mother, which usually distorts the way that you look at relationships and what abusive relationships look like and what healthy relationships look like. The second thing that I did, and this is this is all that I go through with my clients, is learn about your nervous system and learn how to regulate your nervous system because daughters of narcissistic mothers are chronically stressed so their nervous system is wired to be in a state of arousal to be in a state of survival so when you go no contact it's going to feel weird and your body's probably going to be like going off you're probably going to be anxious stressed out and other factors that run in your life so i would suggest starting to work on that too that could look like educating yourself on your nervous system. Not only that, also understanding when you're in fight or flight, what triggers you, and looking at your coping mechanisms. What do you tend to do when you tend to go into fight or flight, freeze, stress yourself out? You need a way to regulate. It could be as simple as doing daily intentional scans throughout your day to see where you are as far as your stress levels, as far as meeting your basic needs. Because a lot of times, daughters of narcissistic mothers tend to live outside their bodies and they don't take care of themselves. They're chronically stressed. They're chronically anxious. They might have some autoimmune diseases. They might have chronic pain. So once you've got no contact, you want to really start focusing on taking care of yourself. I started doing this. Not only did I have the relational aspect of like healing, but I also had the nervous system aspect when I did this healing work and continue to do it. I lifted weights that's what i did to help me and when you lift weights your body is almost forced to go into this state of recovery which helps because it puts you in the part of your nervous system that you don't tend to spend a lot of time in especially if you have a lot of childhood trauma from a narcissistic mother the relational aspect is to be seen heard validated supported not judged so that's what many daughters of narcissistic mothers need when it comes to healing they need a place where they are seen validated heard um, their stories are believed the nervous system aspect is to help you manage your stress levels your triggers and everything when the time comes to actually acknowledging the reality of what you went through with your narcissist Mom, yeah, how much when I started like understanding what's your narcissism the book that I read and like the grieving process was Carol McBride's Will I Ever Be Good Enough? So you got to have the relational aspect. You got to have the nervous system managing stress, uh, trigger management. And then the third step would be doing the work as far as like more of the cognitive work, learning new skills, grieving, making room to develop the new your new sense of self, who you are as a person. But I'll leave it at that because that's where you want to get started. So that's what I offer in my community, the relational, the community aspect, the psychoeducation when it comes to nervous system work, the grieving aspect, the cognitive skills, the tools to help you heal. If you're interested in like a five-step roadmap, you could get on the wait list for my program if you want to. But if not, that's what I would start with. As far as like the nervous system work, you could also check out uh, Polyvagal Theory by Deb Dana. That's what I base the work that I do when it comes to the nervous system too. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.